Hello everyone, welcome back to Sales Entertainment with me Faisal and today we'll be looking at SH Figure Art Kamen Rider Zero One Rising Hopper from the Kamen Rider Zero One series. And this is my second SH Figure Art Figure Arts. Uh, I have the Kuga, but it's a bootleg. This is the original one. So let's take a look at the box first before we look at the action figure. First we look at the front box. The design is really great, the yellow, green, yellow, I think it's more green, yellowish, it's really amazing, it's really cool, and now we look at the left side of the box, it said Kamen Rider 01 as well, we look at the back of the box, it shows us how this figure can pose, how to, how to you know, do a heroic action with this figure, and nothing on the left, and let's get this thing open and here it is Kamen Rider Zero One out of the box he looks really awesome I really love it I really loved it the yellow is greenish kind of thing it's really bright I'm gonna show you closer so you can take a look at this this figure contains three four five actually separate color First you can see the green, the red on the eyes, the red on the head, the black obviously, and some silver on the arm, around the neck, on the belt, on the feet, wow it looks really amazing, and if you look at the belt here, it's really detailed, it's like in the movie, it's really, you know, very detailed they really did a good job of it wow it looks amazing now let's get to the accessories before we go to the articulation so here it is the accessories from zero one we only got you know the option hand we have one pair of holding hand no I mean the close hand the holding hand Two of pointy, a three of pointy hand, and that's all the accessories we got from the zero one. Okay, now let's take a look at the articulation of the zero one. First, we go to the head. The head goes up, goes down, goes side to side. You can rotate all the way around, and that's all the head can do. Moving on to the shoulder and the arm articulation. You can go up like that. It can go 360 rotation like that. It has arm swivel, double jointed elbow, and a ball socket on the head. Just like so. Pretty nice. Moving on to the torso articulation, it can go up, goes down, goes side to side. Very nice. Moving on to the uh, leg articulation, the leg can go forward like that, can go goes backward, not so much, goes out, very nice, it's, wow, you really have to be careful when you're moving this leg, man, I mean, it's really stiff, and it's really tricky to move the leg. You have to be careful, you don't want to break it. Moving on to the joint, it has double jointed knee, that's very nice. Moving on to the feet or foot articulation, can go up, goes down. We have toe joint in here, that's very nice. Side to side, and that's all the articulation can do. And also, we can remove the progress key from the buckle. That's really cool detail, you know, it's really pretty cool detail, a little one, but it's really nice. Wow, this is really a nice figure, but you have to be careful when you try to move the leg or, you know, you want to do some cool poses, you don't want to break the leg articulation or the leg joint over there. 
So that is my review of the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Zero One. It's a really pretty cool action figure, and I really loved it. Even though it came with you know a little accessories and you know the leg articulation, it's kind of tricky, and you have to be careful when you try to move it or you wanna you know do a cool poses you have to be careful or you might break it so I'm gonna give this a sub rating of 9 of 10 actually this is a really pretty good action figure not kit action figure I'm sorry I said kit yeah I'm gonna recommend this action figure to anyone who wants to buy an SH figure at Kamen Rider when they first got into and this is really you know, great action figure, really a great Kamen Rider if you want to start one. So thank you so much for watching, and please do like and subscribe, and I see you in the next review. Bye!